नमस्ते एवरी वन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सोल्यूशन ऑफ क्वाडेटिक इक्वेशंस बाय द मेथड ऑफ कंप्लीटिंग स्क्वेयर्स फॉर दैट आई एम यूजिंग वन प्रैक्टिकल एक्टिविटी ऑल्सो सो मेथड ऑफ कंप्लीटिंग स्क्वेयर्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स वॉच द वीडियो टिल एंड देर विल बी एन अमेजिंग क्वेश्चन फॉर यू सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द मैथड लेट मी टेल यू यू शुड नो दिस टू आइडेंटिटीज दैट इज ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वेयर and a minus b whole square so you have studied these two identities from 8th class now let us discuss this method with the help of one quadratic equation that is x square plus 6x plus 5 equals to 0 so here the first step is check whether your first term is perfect square or not yes it is now second step is take that constant term to the right side so in right side 5 will become negative 5 and your equation is x square plus 6x equals to minus 5 now so first of all we need to convert our left hand side of the equation in the form of a plus b whole square that is a square plus 2ab plus b square or a minus b whole square that is a square minus 2ab plus b square so our equation was not a perfect square equation so that is the reason we took minus 5 to the right side and now check the first term that is x square so for that first of all i took a square whose side equals to x you can see in the red color I took a square whose side is x and its area is equals to the first term that is x square. Now the second term of the equation is 6x. So for that what I did I divided it into two equal parts and the parts will be 3x plus 3x. why i divided it let us see on the figure now here i took six rectangles with length equals to 1 unit and breadth equals to x unit and their area is x multiplied by 1 that is x so 3 i pasted horizontally and 3 i pasted vertically with the sides of the square now what i required to complete the square you can see i required a square with side 3 unit and the area will be 3 square and we know that 3 square is 9 so let us add that 9 to the both sides of our equation and our equation will become x square plus 6x plus b square now will be 3 square that is 9 will be equals to add it to the both sides so it will be equals to minus 5 plus 9 now what will happen by adding this 9 to the both sides let us see from our figure and you can see when i added a square with side 3 unit then our square is complete and the area of square which i added is 9 unit square and here you need to remember that we are adding this 9 to the both sides of our equation so we added 3 square equals to 9 now what happened by adding this 3 square equals to 9 to the both sides of equation let us see with the help of the figure the side of this square becomes x plus 3 you can see horizontally it is x plus 3 and vertically also it is x plus 3 and our equation in the left side will become a plus b whole square that is x plus 3 whole square 
you can expand it the expansion will come equals to x square plus 6x plus 9 and in right side 9 minus 5 will be equals to 4 now take square root both sides then x plus 3 will be equals to remember plus 2 is equals to 4 minus 2 is also equals to 4 so it will come equals to plus minus 2 now what we need to do we have to equate our left side that is x plus 3 equals to 2 as well as x plus 3 equals to minus 2 remember plus minus 2 means positive 2 as well as negative 2 both now take 3 to the right side first solution will be x equals to 2 minus 3 and second solution will be x equals to minus 2 minus 3 so the solutions of the equation are x equals to minus 1 2 minus 3 is minus 1 and x equals to minus 5 which is your required solution for the quadratic equation now let us see what we require to add in our equation to make it a perfect square so first of all we did the half of our middle term and that is 3x then we took its coefficient that is 3 then we squared it and we got 9 and we added that 9 to the both side of equation so remember these two steps which are most important first of all half the coefficient of x that was 3 in previous question and then square it means square of half the coefficient of x I repeat square of half the coefficient of x will be added to the both sides of the equation to make it a perfect square now let us solve one more question using this formula from our exercise so the question i am taking is 4x square plus 4 square root of 3 x plus 3 equals to 0 now we have to solve this equation using method of completing square so the first step is divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of x square that is 4 here so divide both sides by 4 So left side will become 4x square upon 4 divide each term separately 4 square root of 3x upon 4 plus 3 upon 4 equals to 0 upon 4 which is equals to 0. Now cancel 4 in first two terms take 3 upon 4 to the right side that is your second step means take constant term to the right side and left side will become x square plus square root of 3x and in right side there will be minus 3 upon 4 now what we need to add first of all do half of coefficient of x so coefficient of x is square root of 3 and half multiplied by square root of 3 will become square root of 3 upon 2 so what we have to do now we have to add the square of this half of coefficient of x that is square of square root of 3 upon 2 to the both sides so add square root of 3 upon 2 whole square 
to the both sides of this equation and the equation will become x square plus square root of 3x plus square root of 3 upon 2 whole square and same we have to add in the right side also and the right side will become minus 3 upon 4 plus square root of 3 upon 2 whole square now let us see what will come after simplifying it so you can see left side equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square which is equals to a plus b whole square but we need to check whether the middle term is equals to 2ab or not so let us check in our rough work so 2ab means 2 multiplied by at the place of a we have x multiplied by square root of 3 upon 2 so 2 is cancelled and this is equals to square root of 3x means a middle term of our left side is 2ab so directly now we can fill a is equals to x and b equals to square root of 3 upon 2 and left side will become x plus square root of 3 upon 2 whole square and the right side will be minus 3 upon 4 now square root of 3 square will be 3 upon 2 square will be 4 so in, you can see in the right side minus 3 upon 4 and plus 3 upon 4 will be there so their sum will be equal to 0 and x plus square root of 3 upon 2 whole square is equals to 0 now and from here you can take square to the right side it will become square root of 0 which is equal to 0 and the value of x is minus square root of 3 upon 2 means the equation will be having same root and equals to minus square root of 3 upon 2 now there is one amazing question for you i added 6 to 8 and i get 2 the answer is correct but how comment your answer or comment to no answer thank you and keep smiling